it's half I am back again and this is going to be a collab video with the lovely people from Geeks and Beauties. I will leave that linked below as always. Excuse my dog. And I will also link the other people who are doing this particular collab. This is the reread, rewrite or burn tag for books. It is kind of like the kill, marry, kiss um, thing, which I've honestly never really done. So um, you're supposed to book the book, pick the books randomly. <sighs> it's very difficult for me, apart from the fact that my Goodreads app didn't want to like randomly sort them, except the same three books at the top every single time, which is very unhelpful. So I went to my bookcase and I grabbed six books out. Um, they are of various different types of books. I uh, put them in two piles and I am going to do the two different piles. Um, I tried not to think too hard as I pulled them out. I just pulled out books that I know I've actually read. Uh, there are a few there I haven't actually read yet. So, so the first pile is Star Trek Next Generation Dyson Sphere. This was written by Charles Pellegrino and George Zabrowski. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a Star Trek fan. I'm a Trekkie. The next one is Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Really, really like this story. <laughs> really like this story. Uh, and David Tennant is in the movie version. And the last one is Golden Earrings by Belinda Alexandra. I've read quite a few of her books. So, which one would I reread? I think without a doubt, the one that I would reread is Good Omens. It has a much more complex storyline. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, a reread would actually help you understand the book a lot better. It's actually one of the books that is on my reread list because I enjoyed it, but I kind of feel like I need to go back and explore it a little bit more. So this would be my reread. My rewrite. Hmm. I think probably it would be a golden earrings. There are some aspects of it that need um, need a bit of work. It's better than some of her other novels. I have one of hers which I haven't actually been able to finish because it was pretty bad. I uh, couldn't get into it. Um, these are all like saga type ones and so there's places where it could probably be tightened up and aspects of it changed. So this would be my rewrite one. My burn one would be Dyson Sphere. It's not that it's a bad story, it's actually quite a good story, but Star Trek Next Generation fan fiction and add-on fiction is a dime a dozen. There are heaps of them. A lot of them are very similar. Um, so even though I quite enjoyed this, this one of the three would be the one that I would burn. Not that I would ever burn books, unless maybe I was desperate for heat. Um, the idea of burning books is just upsetting. Uh, so the next three books are, it happens to be another Star Trek book um, of a sort. It is, but it isn't. This is written by William Shatner. This is Step Into Chaos. It is along the lines of a Star Trek novel without being a Star Trek novel, just written by Star Trek alumni. Uh, yeah. So that is the first one. The second one is Terry Pratchett's I Shall Wear Midnight. This is the final book in the Tiffany Aching series. This was published not long before Terry Pratchett died. I read this with my daughter after I'd already read it myself. And the last one. And you probably got to see me with lipstick on my teeth. Hey. Uh, the last one is Fifty Shades Freed by E.L. James, which is part of the Fifty Shades of Grey series. 
I have read four of the books that are in this series. Yes, there are, in fact, four of them. The fifth one has just been published, I believe. Um, so this is the second um, part, I believe. No, part three. Sorry, not of that. Um, yeah, this is the final part of the story from Anastasia's point of view. The second two books that came out after this one, um, Grey and I can't remember the name of it, but it's um, told from Christian's point of view instead. Okay, so reread. Um, Reread would have to be Terry Pratchett's I Shall Wear Midnight. I could reread these, this particular series of his books over and over again. Um, as I said, I read it once and then I read it with my daughter. So um, this would be a definite reread. This would be one thing that would never leave my collection. Uh, so burn or rewrite? And I'm guessing you people are thinking it's got to be easy which one to burn. The one I'm going to rewrite is this one. I know a lot of people hate, absolutely hate, the Fifty Shades series. However, there are aspects of it that are actually pretty good if you overlook the way it's written and you overlook some glaring inconsistencies and things that don't quite work. And I think if this was rewritten by somebody who really knew what they were doing and really understood the BDSM community a lot better, this would be a much better book than it actually is. I actually enjoyed these books. The first one was more cringy than the rest. The second two are quite a bit different from the first one. And by this one, things are very different. Um, I do realise this is based off of a... This was a Twilight fanfiction to start with. I cannot stand that story. However, if this was rewritten, it, rewritten this would actually be a pretty good book. And the burn one is William Shatner. The man has no reason to be writing books, quite honestly. Just like you shouldn't sing, you should not write books. <laughs> He's not my favourite author. I did read all of this. I thought it was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. It just wasn't... Yeah, William Shatner should stick to acting. So that is my reread, rewrite, and burn tag video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up. If you like these tag type videos, don't forget to go and check everybody else out. They will be listed down below. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.